This is Heidi Farmer from ABM International, and today I'm going to show you how to resize a pattern using the grab handles of the bounding box in our transform tool of our ANOVA Autopilot Mach 3 software. First, you have to click on the pattern to get the bounding box to appear. Then you can use the handles, whether it's the corner or the side or bottom, top or bottom. You can use any of these handles to resize. Now you'll notice that when I'm doing this, the apple is getting short and squatty. Um, maybe I wanted that apple to stay the same. If I want it to stay the same as its original shape, I believe that's our original shape right there. So what I'd want to do to make it maintain that original shape is to check this maintain ratio box in the options of our transform tool. When I click that and use the corner grab handle, then the apple stays the same shape no matter how big or small I make it. If I use a side or a bottom or top anchor, it will still stretch that direction. So maintain ratio is for a full corner grab resize. So remember that when you're using the maintain ratio, you wanna use a corner grab handle, not a top or a side. Uh, you can then see what size you've made your apple by looking at the width and height field over here on the right in your options of the transform tool. But it also shows up in this top bar as width, height, and then you have length. And what that length is, is the distance that the path travels to complete this pattern. So I know that this apple is 14.13 inches of stitching. Now that can be useful if you want to know the length of stitching or maybe you, you um, charge for your services and you want to charge by the inch of stitching. You can add up each row as you stitch how many inches uh, you've stitched. So uh, very useful information up here. Really quick and easy way to resize your pattern. So thanks for joining me today and see you next time.